my friends, uh, we're gonna have another lesson today with you, and there's gonna be a test. And uh, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna have the uh, artwork with a lot of details, and that's gonna cause the Savannah uh, evening. And uh, this work, as I said, it's gonna consist from the all different kind of things you learn uh, about the art by this time and the topics which is we did with you before they will be kind of included in this work and the silhouette it's a uh, interesting style of actually uh make the artwork the silhouette so basically the silhouette you can see uh when it's sunset and uh the pieces uh of your attention it's might be your uh, architectural pieces or trees or it's even can be the silhouette of the person like in this picture it can be anything which is doesn't look like a painting it almost looks like a black stain like some uh silhouette with the black uh, image because it's so dark it's between the sunset uh time and uh almost close to the night time and uh the all objects during that time you can see the details when you look at them like for instance here to uh the beautiful tree over here uh it's basically you can see the details on that in the people sitting by the beach uh you don't see their uh bodies and details but you can see the contour it's just a silhouette of them same thing on this picture uh it's a boat and you can see the few details uh, and a bird flying to this boat and a person on it but you can see details same thing with that uh, beautiful palm trees and the uh, figures over there on sunset and boats. I click these pictures for you to uh, see uh, how the silhouette look in the nature. Because if you just make the decorative picture uh, of somebody as the silhouette, for instance, the profile, and you barely can see details on that, that is going to be the graphic. But if you make uh, anything look like that uh just a uh, silhouette uh, but the background will be colorful so that's already painting so uh the same thing over here uh when we can see that picture which is i show you when we were working on our palm trees before uh and uh that's the same thing it's a, a silhouette because it has the color background but the uh, uh, palm trees are uh, looks like a silhouette uh, for inspiration i want to show you also animals pictures that uh savanna animals uh which is uh, you can see in africa uh, savanna uh like uh, zebras and uh, uh giraffes and uh elephants so uh they are actually uh the ones who live in a very beautiful environment and especially it looks really pretty by the night time uh, when you can see the late sunset and all these animals in the front of the beautiful african sunshine uh sunset on an uh, on evening it uh, looks really pretty it might be orange it might be dark yellow so it's really beautiful colors there so uh i want you to collaborate on uh, these two subjects uh, which is going to be the silhouette right and also the beautiful sunset somewhere in africa or hawaii where you can see the beautiful yellow orange colors so uh that's gonna be our work uh it's gonna be the beautiful sunset you can put mountains on a, some very very far distance and even sun in the trees and the new part which is we're gonna do today that's gonna be animals and uh, i don't want you to do too many of them but i think that maybe a uh, giraffe and uh, some cheetah that will be enough so i will even one uh, even a uh, giraffe will be enough just uh to show that its environment belong to some african uh that's our topic today and we're gonna start of course from drawing i usually have my pencil ready and the uh, paper and what i'm gonna start with i uh, actually will show you what we're doing so i will bring my picture on a very very low horizon part 
I'm just gonna be right over here and on horizon I will have some maybe mountains so just to have something on the back and maybe some over here and then I will have the uh, palm tree here and we already work on palm trees so that's not gonna be very hard for you you can just look at your picture which is you already did before uh, and uh, make the palm tree from your memory of our lesson so uh, that's gonna be the palm tree here so and uh, when I make the sketch I usually don't pay too much attention to details uh, so that's uh, kind of my style so because I want to do more painting than drawing when I do drawing I work more on details so that's kind of the approach I have on my work so this is my palm tree and uh, for other uh, actually the animal uh, or uh, for instance I will do the giraffe so I need to pick the right uh, spot so I think that because it's going to be my banana uh, palm tree. So I'm just going to move the, um, my giraffe here. So because he will kind of uh, eat uh, probably banana from that tree. So uh, that's kind of will be my uh, composition. And uh, my giraffe will look very close to uh, my palm tree it's probably will be bananas which is he is trying to get so uh with the drawing of um a giraffe uh i did it very fast but i will explain you more so basically the proportions of this animal it's a more main thing it's very important to get the right proportions because his body it's a uh, basically uh his uh, uh legs and the body it's a half of his whole body because this half it's his body and legs and another part of his body it's a uh, neck because as you know that the uh giraffe has the very long neck and his neck it's almost the half of his body that's why when i do my drawing i try to keep that proportion going and remember how when we did the still life i was measuring uh parts so you kind of put your work on the distance and you are uh, measure by your pencil of what the part of this body uh how much uh it's in measuring for instance uh, I have almost ha all my pencil for the body and I have almost all my pencil for the neck and the face. So that should be right. That's exactly what we need for his uh, body. And uh, for the silhouette, as I said, it's not that important to make too many details. So basically, when I will finish his body, the main uh, point for us to uh, have the right uh, proportion. So then for the your uh, beautiful composition and for the people who will look at your work, it's going to be the right uh, proportion. So then somebody will recognize that it's actually giraffe, even if it doesn't have that many details on that, right? So, and of course he has the little tail here. So basically for his body uh we are done so that's gonna be his body uh, and he will eat that um bananas which is growing on that palm tree and the palm tree we will work on that when we will uh do the uh, painting uh we just have a sketch of it and remember that's usually the uh, palm tree looks like the fireworks so it's a nice long branch which is has tendency to get smaller uh, on the top as the usually trees or uh, branches are uh, do and then uh, it has instead of branches it has the beautiful uh, firework on the end right so because it's really fun tree uh, I like palm trees a lot 
and for the, for the mountains on the back, we uh, we don't need to have the same uh, size because you know has the same size uh, make that picture looks boring. So we kind of like uh, make the one of it bigger, another one smaller, and another one kind of will disappear far far to horizon. So I think that's for the, our composition. That's gonna be enough, uh, and we're not gonna go into many details. I'm just gonna have now my big brush, uh, not very big, but uh, big enough because we're gonna work on our uh, background first. And for the background, of course, I'm wet, and I need my yellow color, and I need my uh, red color. So I'm just gonna mix them together. And I need the napkin first to avoid my brush. So I start as usually, I start with yellow first because the yellow is easy to uh, make dirty. So that's usually I start with much more lighter color for my work. And I can use, uh, that's another uh, secret that you can use uh, without washing your brush, you can use a different uh, brush to put another color on palette like I did. I used a smaller brush. We can use this brush later so we can just put it on the side. And then it's easy to mix. So we got red and we got orange from yellow and red. And I think this is a little bit uh, darker than I need. So then I can uh, uh, get uh, wash my brush and wipe it and get more yellow and then I will use that yellow with the light orange I have here and I will receive uh, when I mix I will receive that light orange or dark yellow you can call this either uh, way so and I will start my work with the top of my picture so with my horizontal stroke, just like that. And even on the top, I can use a little bit more orange. So I'll just use this uh, darker color on the top, yellow only. So we're gonna use the only two of that color. So we need to uh, make enough shades just to not make that boring, of course. So I will use that. Uh, orange and then I will mix it with the lighter color so this is it and actually uh, I will uh, add now a little bit lighter color so I will use my white uh, the white color uh, and I will add some white uh, with yellow in my uh, in my light orange mix so this will help me to create some lighter shade of uh, this orange and a light yellow a lot of different shades because it's a mixed color so it can be from light um, a peach color basically where it has the pink uh, in a little bit of yellow so for, for, for almost red, so it's kind of uh, the big, big distance between that light pink, uh, peach, uh, yellow, uh, orangey color and almost red color. Uh, that's what we have here uh, close to the top of the picture, for instance. This yellow kind of will go close to my sunshine. And uh, try to be careful, don't go over the uh, giraffe body. And I need a little bit more red, so I will get a little bit more red in my mix, just like that. Almost orange color, and I'm going closer to just a light yellow on my work. And this can be different kind of uh, shades of this on your work because we're not doing exactly uh, three shades. It can be a few different shades. 
that's just gonna make your uh, sky looks more natural and more looks like savanna african savanna color and uh i will be just very careful by the sun uh because uh by the sun uh i want to have like really clean yellow color because that's gonna give me the right shade of the whole entire evening compass this is usually how it looks it's by the sun uh it's very very yellow because the sun there really hot and uh, you want to show that on your picture that it's kind of uh, African sun so. and just like that you kind of uh, go closer to the borders between uh, sky and uh, your hills or mountains there and you uh, work with very very light shade uh, so almost just our peach kind of yellow color and that's gonna finish your sky just for now maybe we need to do it a little bit darker when we're done uh, because you know how acrylic colors usually have tendency to dry and become lighter so for now I'm just gonna finish with that and I will change my brush and get the smaller brush and with that smaller brush I will uh, try to make my sun uh, so I will uh, use just a white and a little bit of yellow uh, almost uh, white but with the shade of yellow for sun disk and we did it already so you know how it is it's just uh, a very very light yellow color which is gonna dry and uh, become even more lighter so but that's what we need for sun for now maybe we need to make it a little bit lighter later but we leave it like that for now and i have the ready to go purple in my can but i will use that on a palette with uh, a little bit of uh, red also and some uh, black so it will be very dark, bold, purple. Uh, and uh, we'll work with this color for my mountains. Because they're going to be uh, uh, like uh, silhouettes too. Because they're close to horizon. We don't see much details uh, on them. So and that's why we use a uh, pretty much a uh, dark purple color. Uh, not exactly purple, but close to purple, uh, uh, like this. Uh, for the uh, one which is going to be a little bit closer to us, just to create the difference between them. So it's going to let us uh, see uh, the difference between that hills. So this is going to be my um, um, second hue here. And it's going to be a little bit bolder, kind of burgundy color. And for another one, I, I will just wash my brush, uh, this uh, purple, very, very light. So. I need a uh, more bolder uh, color than just a light uh, purple. So uh, with the pink, I will try to create the right color. So this is gonna be this color. So which is lighter than purple, but uh, not pink. So uh, this is just for the hill uh, behind. Just to see the difference between them. So that's why. I use the different shade, uh, dark uh, kind of brown sand because the sand uh, already in um, savanna where there's a giraffe and tree are located it's, uh, on the evening become from the yellow kind of 
um, beige color it's become more brown so I'm gonna use my orange color and brown for that and I have a canvas orange so a pre-made one so but this is almost too orangey for sky that's why I didn't use it for the sky so I will use it for my um, dark in sand I get so it's kind of orangey brown and this is the color I will use and to make it um, a little bit more looks like a shadow color I will add in this uh, a little bit of purple the dark purple I meant before so it's gonna become a little bit more look like brown but not exactly because it's a mix with the purple so and I will use it for uh, the darker side by the mountains this color this will help me to create some shadow color and when you work on your uh, sand I forgot to say that uh, you uh, use the horizontal strokes that helps uh, to create the uh, uh, orange color in that. If you don't have the mixed one, just use the yellow and red, uh, so that will help you. more yellow so just wash your brush be careful because you had the dark purple on your part uh, and uh, on your brush so I, I add a little bit yellow uh, to my uh, color which is I use for the sand uh, and this is gonna help me to create the little bit lighter color uh, like kind of orangey brown color still so, uh, just from that shade of what I had on my palette. Sometimes it's like very artistic process to create on palette some color which is you will need. It's basically like write some music, same approach. So you try and you get something interesting and you create your art be beauty or your work. And it can be music and it can be artwork. So this is going to be our sand closer to uh, us here. Uh, it might be a little bit lighter than by the mountains. So it might be not the mountains, it might be dunes of the sand too. But because they are vertical, so they get like uh, more shadow on them. So uh, this might be dunes, of course. Um, and this is a uh, lighter because it's just close to us in composition it has less shadows on uh, the sand and this is just a, for how i feel all this because that artwork uh which is one of my students did he decided to go with more bold brown for the sand and more purple mountains, uh, which I like too. So, and he also did uh, interesting clouds uh, on his artwork. Uh, so, uh, we can do it too. Uh, if you want to, you can put some clouds on your uh, sky. So far, I'm just working on the background. So, uh, I don't put too many details now. So, I'm done with the sand for now so i'm gonna work on my palm tree and so now we come to that point when i want to stop on that silhouette uh perspective on this uh composition so for the silhouette uh, we're gonna use the black color but uh because we don't want to have just a bold black we're gonna use this with purple so that's gonna help us to have this um, not kind of blind black or just a kind of more breezing uh, color 
uh, which is purple will add to it so and then uh, just like that we will start from the bottom and uh, work our way up to the top uh, a slimmer branch uh, on the top of your pumpkin and remember that I was talking before about that it's kind of like like a hugs goes on the top so and this hugs create the palm tree so it's like two hands goes together and they create that layers of the palm and don't go oversized with them because otherwise it's gonna lose that shape uh, and that's the most important part uh, for the palm tree just to have a right proportion same as the giraffe has uh, the palm tree has to have the right proportion so I did uh, my uh, palm tree with this size but I will think that I still need a little bit of more color for the more darker color for my branch my black and that's uh, because that uh, purple a little bit more translucent than green the black is kind of fine uh, but purple make it light just like that and i think that is good so for now uh now i just want to um, create the body of my giraffe so for the giraffe i will use black and brown so uh because naturally uh giraffe has the brown and um has that uh, spots uh, on his body of the lighter spots that's how we recognize his uh, kind of shape and we recognize his body in the nature because he has just uh, spots, the uneven spots in the nature, which is, uh, let me show you this on the picture so that you know what I'm talking about. So this is that spot uh, the giraffe has. But uh, during the time what we're using right now for our picture, uh, we're not going to see that, but uh, we uh, still uh, use the brown and black for our color, for the uh, our giraffe. Just creating that uh, recognizable shape of his body. And his body uh, lighter, uh, lighter than the palm tree. That's why we're using brown. Uh, brown and uh, black. And usually neck even lighter. So this is his tail and body and uh, I'm gonna need the smaller brush for legs so I don't want to spoil my work with a uh, too big brush uh, so I'm just gonna use uh, the smaller brush for this part and this is the smaller brush so get like really really small brush for that I still will have the same color for that, but just the size of my brush will be smaller. Because the reason why I am really careful with my uh, choice of brushes because the big brush 
can really uh, spoil your work in few seconds because you gonna try to do something with the size of the brush bigger than you need and then you uh because you're still learning and you not like really know all abilities of your hand and you don't have that much experience so then you're gonna just use your brush and just overdo something and it will be very very hard to exchange because considering what kind of light colors for the background we have today it's going to be almost impossible to uh, undo the darker colors as, or as a silhouette colors what we are uh, having today uh, to use uh, for our uh, silhouette of animal in the uh, tree. And just to uh, use the uh, smaller brush in this kind of composition, it's much more safer. Uh, so then uh, use the bigger brush because the bigger brush can just uh, overdo uh, the parts of uh, this animal body, giraffe body. And when you're trying to exchange something also, uh, it might just um, take you to um, the wrong spot and you will, instead of fixing, you're going to just next up. So that's why just take the smaller brush for details. It's always more rewarding and um, give you some room for mistake or uh, for uh, adjustment. Uh, with giraffe uh, face, uh, it's uh, not that long, but it's kind of long enough because he using his face usually to reach out for uh, some fruits or leaves. That's the reason why his body are uh, engineered uh, and created this way that he can reach out leaves uh, on uh, very far away from surface. Uh, trees like palm trees for instance uh, so this is going to be my um, giraffe's body and his legs so I'm uh, now I'll let it dry and I will work on my palm trees leaves and for the palm tree I will have some darker purple uh, with red color this one because the blue will add some um, deep shade uh, to our purple and if you remember that the palm tree has that um very interesting structure for the branches very small little leaves on uh, the top of the branches this is how they looks so it's like a firework with uh, the leaves uh, going from the middle to the sides and I don't like too many of them, but uh, it has to be enough just to show uh, exactly the type of the tree you're working in. Uh, with the palm tree, you have to be very careful with your uh, branches because same thing uh, can easily uh, spoil it and it will be kind of very hard to uh, recreate that because you already did your sky and the sky has the beautiful colors so it will be hard to uh, undo it type of brush it's really important so help you to uh, get the right image uh, and help you to uh, create this with the right tool so, uh, and uh, when we are creating this uh, leaves on the bottom, be careful because you already have your giraffe there. So, 
kind of don't cover him with uh, palm tree leaves. tree is just that proportions between the branch and the uh, kind of looks like a firework leaves around this branch so if you manage to do that and create that uh, image so uh, your tree will uh, be recognizable and uh, will look like a palm tree And um, I will just leave it for now, the reason why, because I want to clean a little bit my uh, mountains uh, and then I will come back to the palm tree. I'm just going to give my hands some rest from details. I uh, will add some purple with red because it has some uh, white spots here, so I want to cover them. Uh, because that white spots are kind of bug you in a way or because you kind of trying to uh, get your colors uh, compared with the background uh, colors and if you see instead of the right colors you see the white uh, color not color but just a paper uh, tone it's uh, just ruined your way to compare uh, what the intensity of the color you need because it's kind of distract you on a way he when we work on it uh, so that's actually um give us more bold um kind of color on uh, our work and actually finish our work with the right comparison between uh, the colors on our work without that white uncolored background. I need some a uh, white color. I'm just going to use my uh, small brush to clean the red color. We'll create that light pink purple. And uh, for the other one, we had um, the darker purple with uh, black on, on that one and a little bit of red. The sun will color a little bit of uh, that hills with the shade of the light. Um, kind of brown probably so I will do it later uh, when I uh, finish with the uh, main colors of the hill that's, that's good enough and I will wash my brush carefully and I will see if I need a little bit maybe uh, some tone of that orange brown for the field uh, for the sand uh, on the front and this is just a, a main color for uh, the sand I also want to show you how to uh, get some shadows uh, from palm tree and uh, giraffe but uh, a little bit later let's just finish first with them and then we can come back to shadows already which are dry so we can see exactly what uh, shade of color we have everywhere and then we can add some shadows on uh, the sand uh, around the palm tree and um, giraffe. So see how an extra layer of colors uh, liquidate that empty spots 
and uh, give you a more bold uh, background colors. And this kind of organized all composition for you. More, uh, because we will still need that shade of the orangey or uh, brown one. We can use it for um, later shadow, for instance. And this is just a, a brown with orange, so kind of bold color for sand, evening sand. This color kind of helps organize that silhouette colors and the purple and um, I guess even complement that orange sky too. So they kind of work together for good. And then the slight purple kind of shade of by the mountains, uh, it's um, create that deepness 3D look on your picture. And it's nice to have here closer a lighter shades. Still can reach out that part on the front. So that's why I will use a little bit more orange and yellow. Just like that, okay, for the front, just for the contrast. Because you see that uh, when you already work on a few details, you see what exactly to do. And that's why I don't like the white spots because they kind of distract you on the way and you don't know exactly what shade of color to use. So this is kind of more organized now. So now we're gonna work on our sky a little bit. I cleaned that brush because I need it for something else, but I will get uh, the bigger one right now and clean one for the sky because I want to get more boldness to sky right now. I'll just use uh, some yellow here. And uh, to not get too much orange in there, uh, I'll need some white for my yellow. So that will help to create the right shade because our uh, white will with the yellow will kind of get that um peach color in orange so that's what uh, i want for the medium side medium uh, side of your sky that will help to get that bold sun shine in the middle right here if we use the peach color so then uh closer to the uh, top of the mountains or the dunes sand dunes uh, hills will be more yellow color. and you can see how that kind of gets some right a shade uh, to your sky color and a little bit darker orange more red in it just like that we can put some on the top right here just to get some boldness to your sky And then uh, by the giraffe face and uh, here by the branch of the tree, so add some more bold color here. Uh, they're just gonna uh, get extra layer to your uh, sky and I kind of uh, put the uh, shades in the right order. Just when you paint, uh, think about that hot sunset uh, in uh, savannah in Africa. Just uh, give yourself 
close your eyes and give yourself that feelings that you are trying to bring that hot hot sunset so it's the sun almost um, can burn you on the way so to give you that boldness the darker shades are uh, closer to the sun i need more light uh, in yellow on a clean brush of course and that will help you to finish with the right shading here so see how that peach in yellow color help you to finish uh, and create that um, light on your work especially by sun and uh, this kind of help you to uh, make your sun kind of pop because that right shade are uh, around that um, sun disk that's what you need for delivering that beautiful sunset and just like that I will think that that's gonna be a good idea to stop with the background because uh, that's I think that's good enough so probably just need a few details to our um, a giraffe in a palm tree so just need um, to clean up the brush for that and get that bold black blue color blue purple you can even mix that with black blue and red just uh how i did it right now right here so that's gonna give you that bold color for your um branch on tree branch again i'm warning you just to be very careful because that's almost the end of the artwork you are creating for a long time and spending a lot of energy and just uh, be careful don't spoil your palm tree branch uh, with few details and uh, then it will be very hard to uh, finish that because of uh, the yellow um of course it's a light color so it's hard to go over with the darker color i need to make my color a little bit uh, more translucent then it's easy to layer that on the uh, sunset colors uh, over there branches are kind of translucent on in a certain way uh, they kind of highlight by the sunset If they're not even it's fine because they are usually like that they're not exactly all of these branches not the all exactly the same color and the same size some of them smaller some of them bigger so that's exactly like that's normal and some of them will be closer some of them will be darker some of them will be a little bit lighter because they're more far away from you so this uh, don't make them all exactly the same color exposed to sun lights and some of them more darker because they are in shadow so this um, will be totally fine and i think that's gonna be good enough uh, so uh the reason why i just uh, i told you that leave that orangey or brown sorry if you uh and uh, the reason why that's because i want to put some kind of shadow on this uh sand over here 
on the bottom and the shadow will go uh, exactly uh, kind of by the diagonal from the sun so creating the uh, shadow on the other side of the tree just like that and the shadow is usually more bold by the branch and then they kind of fading so uh same thing i will do uh, for uh the shadow of um giraffe and this is going to be less bold of course it's going to be just a, a very slight your picture more natural looks so. same thing uh for uh, the uh, that um, hills over here, so uh, the bolder part will be that one which is farther from the sun, so sunset, they will be more lighter, and the other side will be more darker. I'm just gonna get some more uh, real look to the picture and so now uh, I will get some patience to finish the body of giraffe so I will get brown and black and just go a little bit over the body of this we can put some bananas on that tree too so we just finish the silhouette first right And with the legs, um, he kind of stand on his four legs, but you need to make sure that you get this right because that leg, which is on the front, uh, should just uh, have more color on it. Behind over there, and that one on the front. So give that leg a little bit more boldness same thing with this one in the front uh, and another one behind for the shape of giraffe you just look at the picture and try to repeat it and as i said for the uh, body proportions the main uh, thing it's just to uh, create the right proportions just practice before you put your giraffe on a picture and uh, you can just um, uh, make it on a, a sketch paper first and uh, make sure that you get the proportions right so basically uh, the half of body and another half it's of his body it's a neck with the head so basically the body uh, divided on two pieces and one uh, part it's uh, body and legs and another part it's the neck and the face. So uh, and just if you uh, get the right proportions uh, that the giraffe will look as a giraffe so uh, just uh, and uh, make you work more right so then you don't, don't trust yourself uh, on the a giraffe shape but just practice that's my kind of suggestion as you need some shape too I think that uh, brown this purple will work and we're just gonna move them here there's like little extension on the other just like that okay and um, also I think that um, some of the body of the giraffe can be a little bit lighter by the sunset here just I just want to have a little bit of sunlight Beautiful 
y and when we leave that on giraffe here on the side of his neck here and the palm tree too so we can uh, get some shades of white and um, I guess the last last thing would be sun so um, I just want to get some light shade of um, yellow and um, white on it so just to get a little bit expression of white but do it really really accurate so it's not gonna go over the border because it shouldn't be um, more than that disc you already create for that so some boldness to it so decide that we don't exaggerate that too much so and maybe just next to it just get some light yellow color um, just to add some light sun gives so much energy even from uh, artwork it's kind of streaming on you you will enjoy to uh, work on sunset I like it a lot and, uh, this is one of my favorite subjects and uh, I think that a little bit on the borders between these mountains um, right by the shapes already we can get some light create the right lights on the work and I think that we can also uh, work a little bit on, on that part also by the fountain And actually, the palm uh, leaves, um, they kind of will be blended uh, to that um, sunny light. Uh, so I'll just use some very light strokes for in this palm tree. Just to... Um, because the palm tree is um, um, highlighted by the sunset. And some leaves are almost become translucent. So that helps to create the character of this um, palm tree so. some of them should be really dark and bold but some of them might be just get dissolved in sunlight so um that's what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to highlight some of them and uh, I'll make the other ones a little bit less visible. So it just help us to create that mass of these branches without um, kind of overdoing them uh, and um, give us the right silhouette of the palm tree. So. Even the dry uh, brush strokes, they kind of will be right because that's how the some leaves are looks. So it actually helps you to recreate the nature in that point. We don't do it from nature. We just fantasize on that uh, topic and trying to create the beautiful picture from the top of our head. As we did the last time with the um, a beautiful blossom on the cherry tree so this is the another decorative approach the silhouette works so, because that's uh, not exactly as nature has it's just your view too my colors for the silhouettes um, uh, of the palm trees and uh, a giraffe they are um, 
a kind of taken from reality, but um, because they're kind of too bold for reality, they uh, make this artwork more decorative. So, but you can still see those um, topics uh, in the savannah on the uh, sunset time. Uh, as the animals are standing uh, in the front of the trees and it's uh, sunset time so it's nothing wrong with that composition and uh, I think that our task is almost finished and we can start so I just want to show you uh, what I have. So uh, what we did today, we were trying to work with the silhouettes uh, in the front of the beautiful Savannah African beautiful sunset and uh, recreate the uh, shape of the palm tree. And uh, one more time, think about what you learn uh, about the uh, colors which is, has complements to each other. Uh, as the orange and blue and yellow and uh, purple uh, and uh, I think that we uh, did a good job on that and if you have any questions just send me your questions and send me your artwork so that we can see where we are and we will move forward after that thank you so much